There's a common saying about caravans, a van is only as strong as the base on which it's built. Unlike many other manufacturers, Jayco builds its own endurance chassis. But what exactly is an endurance chassis? Let's take a sneak peek into Jayco's chassis shed and find out. The shed is a loud, busy place, which is not surprising. Jayco builds 45 complete chassis here every day. Lengths of steel come in from Jayco's supplier, pre-cut to size. These are laid out like a giant jigsaw puzzle before they're welded together. Any excess steel is ground off and then they're stacked up, ready for galvanising. Jayco chassis are hot dip galvanised, which means they're coated with a thin layer of zinc to prevent the steel from corroding. Jayco doesn't galvanise its own chassis, they are sent to a nearby galvaniser for hot dipping and are brought back to Jayco when they're finished. Trucks pick up and drop off chassis to and from Jayco every day. It takes about three days from when the chassis are picked up to when they're dropped back. Once the chassis are galvanised, they're turned upside down on a trolley and rolled through a production line, ready to have components, including suspension, added to them. Jayco brought the chassis shop back in-house approximately 15 years ago. Um, we brought it in-house for a number of reasons. One, obviously there's operational efficiencies that we can gain by bringing it in-house. We also have control over it and also we can bring new developments in quicker than, you, than if we use an external provider because we can control the whole process from start to finish. Jayco currently uses two types of suspension. The regular beam axle leaf spring suspension and its new JTEC independent coil spring suspension. This was launched earlier this year and it's fitted to all Outback models. The modular subframe, trailing hub arms and brakes all come from Alco while the heavy-duty shock absorbers and coil springs are custom-made by Pedders. All the components come together at Jayco, where they're fitted together and inserted into the Endurance chassis. Other components added in the chassis shed include the jockey wheel, drop jacks, bumper, coupling, steps, mud flaps, wheels and water tanks. Before a Jayco chassis leaves the shed, it's flipped back over onto its wheels and undergoes a final quality check before it's towed, like a regular caravan, over to the production line. The Jayco Expander Outback, which we're looking at throughout this series, sits on a six metre long endurance chassis. The main chassis rails are six inches high, compared to the four inches used on non-outback models. This gives it a greater strength and also a higher ground clearance. The Expander Outback's chassis has pressed hole steel C-section cross members between the main rails. These are shaped a bit like a C and have holes cut out of them, which makes them very lightweight. The chassis is still very strong and the holes allow the underfloor plumbing and wiring to be run underneath and protected.